We're follow man. You're back in London. Why? Yes, I am, yes. Um, because the situation has just got worse. No one has stepped in. No one has done anything to help. Um, we've been calling on international community for days and days, weeks, and no one has done anything to help. I mean, you did what you did to Libya, and then you leave it in this mess, and then you do nothing to other, and you do nothing to help. What, what, what are you asking NATO to come back and help? I'm not asking NATO to come back and help. I don't want anything to do with NATO anymore. You see what they've done, and I, I, I don't want anything to do with that. But anyway, we would never ask for NATO anyway. All we want is a peaceful intervention. A few days ago, the, the Russian, the Russian. Um, one of the Russian people in the UN asked for um, asked for intervention in Libya, peaceful intervention, to find a peaceful solution for what's going on in Bani Walid. And the US opposed this. Why? Why would you oppose such a thing? They were finding a peaceful, so, a peaceful solution well, for a massacre. Me, Bani Walid is going to be the next Rwanda. Is that what you want to see happen? And then you step in too late. I mean, you know, the thing I don't get is when, when Gaddafi troops were heading to Benghazi, the international community reacted within within second within hours literally and then within a few other and then within a few hours there was a no fly zone over Libya. Why can't we do the same for Bani Ali? Or is it is it just hypocrisy? Just hypocrisy. So you're you're living in a country that is supporting violence against Libya. It's, I mean, I just personally I don't get it. I mean, I've lived in this country for a long time, and I've always thought, you know, they've always stood for peace and democracy and all this bullcrap that they try to spoon feed us every day. But it's just it's just total nonsense. I mean, after what I've seen, I've, I've been personally affected by this, so I know, you know, it's just it's, it's, it's hypocrisy. So why are you here today? Today uh, I'm here because uh, I wanna to. To send my voice to the British government to stop bombing Bongoli because there is a lot of uh, civilians there. They are died, you know, and we need to to save their life. Are you from? from I am from Libya? I am from Libya, too, you know, and I want a peace for Libya. For that, I am coming here today uh, to to send my voice to to the government. You think the British government will do anything? I don't think I don't think so, you know. But I have to I have to come here and shouting and send my voice. You know. That's it. Thank you. What happened yesterday, and why isn't the media covering it? I'll tell you what, we just got the lesson. We know they are not going there, because they are directed by someone that we don't know. If they wanted to go, they could go there. They are there in Syria, they put their lives at risk, and they go to Syria, because they've been asked and told to go to Syria. But in Bin Walid, it's a different situation because they don't care, they're not interested, because the people who is ruling the country there, they are their friends. So they, they can pack them up. They, put, they support them. Whatever the cost of Bin Walid is going to be, so they don't care. You're saying, you're saying Sky TV and the BBC should be in Bani Walid? There is no Sky TV, there is no BBC media to cover the news, as they don't want to go there. So does Bani Walid have the same weapons as the Misrata? We haven't got the weapons. We only use, probably the guys there use clashing codes against artillery, machine, you know, artillery, tanks, aircrafts, chemical weapons, I mean gas. So do you think Downing Street will do anything? You think the British government will help? We just wanted to raise our voice here to pass the message. And I don't know whether they are going to listen to us. In Ben Walid people, there, are, there is no Gaddafi ex-regimes or pro-Gaddafis. But there are a people who wanted to live with dignity. Yes, we want to live as the others, like the normal people. No food, no medicine. The city is being blockaded by those guys, so we don't care about whether Mr. Cameroon is going to listen or not. We are going to expose them to everyone. We are going to expose them to everyone.